right, y'all, this is Nina, your multimedia specialist here at Haven for Hope. And today I am at our resource center. We have an amazing guest here today, actually a few guests, <laughs> right? Um, so I have... D Nice. How you doing? I'm the barber instructor at Eyes on Me Barber College. And I like to come to Haven for Hope for at least about once or twice a month to make sure that my students help out and get back to the community with free haircuts. So all of the students that are here today cutting the, uh, cutting everyone's hair, are they are they at any level? There's, there's various uh, levels. You have some that just started. I literally just turned on the clippers. And then you have some that's been cutting for a few years. So those individuals that's been cutting for a few years, I like for them to work on their timing. But the ones that actually never started with a haircut or done a haircut, those are the ones that I'm kind of a little bit more hands-on. But at least they're able to still kind of get the jitters off and still get back be like, man, I was able to give a haircut and it was perfect. And like, exactly. It builds their confidence, you know? Yeah. So I, I love doing it. I love doing it. I don't know. It's great. And it's so fun to watch you work with them um, because you, you really, you're such a great instructor. Like you really instruct them and help them. And yeah, and it's, it's really, it's really just great to watch. How long have you been a barber? <laughs> uh, professionally? Well, two, okay. So two years. years. Licensed two years, um, but I was prior military. So I was always cutting, you know, illegally. Okay. All right. But, um, but I was always, I always had a passion for it. It's okay. just, I can go to a barber shop and watch them cut my kids and be like, oh, okay, I think I could do that. Mm. So I just said, oh, well, let me just go ahead and go get my license and do it. Okay. Then turn around, did the barber instructor, and now I'm here turning back and giving back, and it's it's amazing. I love it. I love it. Yeah, no, and we, we love having you Thank here, you. Um, and it's such a great environment. Like, everyone here, it really is like a barber shop. Absolutely. Yeah, here at the music, resource. Music, everything, yes, yeah. Yes. Thank <laughs> you for good music. Yeah, yeah getting, them, getting, them, getting them out of the nervousness, because, you know, they all they nervous, especially if they've never been there and they were like, okay, I don't know what to do. I don't want to mess up anybody. So if I make it the environment comfortable, then they're going to give their 100%. And that's what I, I go off of it. I live off of it. It just it gives me goosebumps. I got goosebumps now. You know what I'm saying? So I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it's working because every, every client that's walked out of here with a haircut looks like so good and clean. Your students are smiling. Um, and I love that y'all are giving back. So at Haven for Hope, we're always talking about changing the face of homelessness. Absolutely. So how do you feel that being here at Haven, how is that important to Eyes on Me and to y'all in giving back to the community? I, I tell them that all the time. Even before we started going into the theory and the book and all that stuff, I tell them, look, you have to be able to give back to somebody because it's going to reward you in 10 times. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you're able to give back to the community and be able to live and breathe like you know what? Because if you was in a situation, you would want somebody else to help you. So if I need you to put that in your mind first and foremost, because once you get to that situation and then you're able to give 100%, it works out. And it's like so many blessings after that. So that's why I make sure that they, they do that. They have that first hand. Come in here with an open mind. Do what you need to do. Treat them as if they're human beings. Talk to them. And then just live in the moment. Just, yeah. just give them a good haircut. Have a good conversation. Have good customer service. And just... Just trust the process, and I love it. I love it. Compared to other barber colleges, what okay. sets y'all apart? Like, what is, you know, Eyes on Me all about? A lot of folks know Eyes on Me for, you know, the the glitz and the glamour and all that stuff. But deep down, Eyes on Me Barber College is really about unity. I'm all about making sure that all of the students look after each other. Don't put nobody down. Don't make yourself seem like you're better than the next barber sitting next to you. No, y'all all together. If that's the case, Eyes on Me is actually everybody has their eyes on you. That's how I like to think about it. Eyes on me, I love it. I love my boss, but at the end of the day, it's about the students. And if the students are taking care of each other, then I think I'm doing my job. Yeah. That's how I see it. I love that. It's more of like a collaboration over competition That's right. situation. With me being prime military, I'm all about camaraderie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, if somebody needs help, man, help them. Don't don't talk about them and insult them while they're down. Mm. And bring them back up. Because guess what? If they fail, you fail too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, it's a team effort, and I love that. What um, what branch of military were you in? I was in the United States Air Force. Okay. Air Force, all blue. Yes. Ain't my baby. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's hey, always man. a joy to have you here. Absolutely. Super thank excited. You. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate well, it. thanks for watching, and keep your eyes out, because we're going to have some awesome photo and video of everyone in action. Absolutely. <laughs>